Hi guys, uh, welcome back, happy new year. Um, hopefully you'll start to see a new look and feel to the trees video short course. Um, you can tell I'm fighting a cold here, so uh, bear with me for this version. Welcome to trees short course number five, functional component modeling, continue. Last year, I left you with a rather intentionally difficult challenge for homework. I said, knowing what we know of functional modeling so far, Build a component model of an evaporative cooler. There are three steps in making a component model. Step number one is always, always, always draw a picture of your system, something like this. Once you have a picture, that takes us to step two, which is label all the important elements in your system. So steps one and steps two are relatively easy, but uh, I'm going to add the two pictures uh, of these steps to my blog this week so you can grade yourself, and we'll jump on to step three. Step three is to describe all the interactions between each component, and there's two ways to do this. One is table format, and the second is graphically. I'll show you how both of those methods are done now. I find that the table format is the easiest to use, so we'll start there. Open up an Excel document, and label all the components in both the rows and the columns. Here's a small portion of the table that I put together for the evaporative cooler as an example. Because the table is symmetrical about the diagonal, you can ignore the top or the grayed out portion of the table for now. Now begin to describe each interaction between each column and each row element. For example, the shell and the shell, there is no interaction because they're both the same element. We continue down the shell column and try to describe the interaction between the shell and the pump. The shell holds the pump, so we'll put that in. If we continued down the cells in each column, we would fill out the lower half of the table and each cell would have some sort of interaction in it. Here's an example, and I am missing several interactions. There can be more than one in a single cell. An alternative table is where you label each element and its interaction between each element like so. In this way, you can see the multiple interactions between most of the elements. Again, I haven't filled out everything here. This is just an example. Okay, hopefully you get the idea. I'll post a blank template in my blog this week, and I'll post a completed template in my blog next week so you can see how you did. Now let's move on to graphical modeling. The graphical format is more easily illustrated, but I use a piece of software called Tech Optimizer, and I'll show you that in this particular blog if you take the trees class, you'll get access to that software, but until then, you'll be uh, forced to do it by hand. We first described the main useful function, and in this case, the evaporative cooler was designed to cool air. As you did in the table format, we do the exact same thing in the graphical format. We lay out all of our components, and then we begin to link them together with all of their useful and harmful functions. Here's another important part of functional modeling, the idea of useful and harmful functions. I like to use the analogy of Goldilocks and the Three Bears when describing functions. There's insufficient, there's excessive, and there's just right, or nominal. The main goal of functional analysis is to identify the specific disadvantages of a system. Most importantly, the harmful functions that keep our system from being most ideal. It also helps us identify those components which are not performing effectively. Components that are working excessively or insufficiently are ripe for improvement. And of course, if you want to stay with the fairy tale theme, the harmful function can be considered that big scary monster in the closet, or the wicked witch of the west, or whatever you prefer. Go ahead and finish up your homework with the evaporative cooler, see if you can finish the functional model. And uh, we'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye.